Hello guys, today I wanted to share with you some of my tips for creating a commercial look in DaVinci Resolve 18. We'll focus on the important elements to look at while grading commercials. And this is our before and after. I hope you'll like it. Let's start. And we are in the color tab and this is our clip. I got it from Artgrid and I thought it would be a good example to show you how you can enhance the look of the certain elements of the shot. So let's minimize it and I will show you my note tree. It's a very simple note tree. As today I wanted to show you what you can focus on while grading commercials. So first we've got primaries where we will be adjusting the exposure. Then we've got balance. After that, we've got three parallel nodes where I've separated the skin, dress and the green elements of the shot, as I mostly want to focus on those three elements. Then we've got a vignette where we'll be adjusting lighting. And at the end, as usual, we have our color space transform, as this shot was shot in lock, so I have to convert it first. Let's click on the CST then. Then let's go to the effects and let's find and drop the color space transform onto our node. And my clip was shot on red camera, so I'll pick my input and output color space accordingly. And then I'll leave the output as it is, as my project is set to Rec 709. And this is what I want. And this is before and after. So the conversion brought back the contrast to the clip. But let's click on the primaries node. And the first thing to remember while grading commercials is that they tend to be very bright and contrasty with a lot of tonal range. So I will start with brightening the shot and bringing more contrast to it. And I will use my curves. So let's start from bringing the highlights up, but trying not to go above the 1023 point while looking at the scopes, because I don't want to make it look overexposed. Then let's push the shadows down a bit and raise midtones. Okay, and this is before and after. I like how it looks so far. So now let's move to the balance and let's switch the parade to the vector scope. And here we can see that the shot is pretty much on the warmer side and there's a lot of yellow tones in it. And also what characterizes the commercial look is that commercials are quite clean and white balanced properly. So let's try to bring our clip closer to this kind of neutral place. So I'll use my primer wheels and I will move my offset towards blue in order to balance it. Remember, it's all about small adjustments. So I'm quite reserved while using color wheels. It really doesn't need much. Okay, and this is before and after. I like it. We got rid of that yellow tint from the shot. And now let's move to our parallel notes. As another thing that characterizes commercial look is that commercials tend to be quite saturated. So we'll be working on those three elements, adding the saturation. Let's start from the skin then. I'll click on my note, then I'll go to the qualifier, then I'll highlight my skin, and then I'll use my hue slider to improve the selection. Okay, we've highlighted some parts of the tree as well, but I think it's okay. They'll get a bit of a boost as well. So then I will denoise my selection. I'll clean it black and I'll blur it and let's see how it looks when we scroll through. Looks good to me. So let's turn the highlight off and now I'll actually go to my lock wheels and I'll use them as they are great to work on a very specific range. And looking at my skin indicator, I'll be adding more color and desaturation to the skin. Okay, something like this. And this is before and after, huge difference. So we're getting closer to that vibrant commercial look. Now let's move to the dress. And here I will do exactly the same thing as we did with the skin. I will qualify the color of the fabric. Then I will improve the selection using my tools here. And I will denoise it. And now let's use log wheels again, adding more color and saturation to the mid-tones of the dress and to the highlights as well. Okay, and this is before and after, looking good. 
So now let's move to the last parallel node and here we will be adjusting a little bit of that green environment behind. So I'll go to my curves this time and then let's do hue versus hue. Now let's grab a sample of the green from the clip so we can get the right selection and let's move it down a bit. Okay, so we've made these leaves look a little bit richer. It's a very subtle difference, but still. And then I'll go to hue versus saturation and I'll do the same thing. I will sample the green color from the clip and I'll increase the saturation here. And this is before and after. I hope you can see the difference on YouTube. It's tiny, but adds the quality to the clip that now looks very rich in color comparing to what it was before. So now we are ready to move to the vignette. And here I'll grab the round power window and I will place it over the subject. Then I will rotate it and I will change the shape of it so it covers the model. And then let's soften it a lot. Then I will reverse it here and we can turn the highlight on to be able to see what part of the image will be modifying. Let's soften it even more. And now I will go to my primary wheels. I will turn the mask off to be able to see what I'm doing and I will decrease the gamma. So you see, only by doing this simple trick, we bring even more attention to the model. And this is before and after. And now we just have to track the mask backwards and forwards. And let's see the final result full screen. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.